And here we have 10.4 linear factors theorem and conjugate zeros theorem. I've kind of already gone over the conjugate zeros theorem in the previous topics. Um, and that is that if you have one imaginary or complex zero, you automatically have its conjugate as a zero, okay? So it says here, suppose that R of X is a polynomial of degree nine, whose coefficients are real numbers. So you know that the conjugates come in pairs. Also suppose that the function or the polynomial has the following zeros, four I and negative four plus I. So the first part wants you to find another zero. There's two different answers here. One answer is the conjugate of this guy, which is negative four I, or you could answer the conjugate of this guy, which is negative four minus I. So two possibilities for an answer in part A, okay? If you type in this one, you'll get marked correct. If you chose to type in that one, you will get marked correct. If you incorrectly take the conjugate, it will mark you wrong, okay? Now, what is the maximum number of real zeros that R of X can have? And this is my hint. Take the degree and subtract the number of complex zeros that you know about, okay? So I know that I have these two and I have these two. So what is nine take away the four that I know I have it's going to be five. So five is the maximum number of real zeros that I could have. Now, is what is the maximum number of non-real zeros that I could have, okay? This one depends, okay? You do the same thing as before. You take the degree minus the number of real zeros that you know of, okay? And then depending on what your answer is, you're gonna either give that the, as the answer or you're gonna have to subtract one as the answer. So this is what I'm doing. The degree is nine. I don't know that any of them are real because I wasn't given any real ones here. If I was given another one like five, then I would know that I had one real one and it was, I would have one of them here and then I would subtract that one. But since I wasn't given any real zeros, no real zeros were given. Zero. And nine take away zero is nine. Okay? Now, if that were an even number, right? Because we know that imaginaries come in pairs. Nine has four pairs. right okay that's good to know and of those four pairs if each of those four pairs are imaginary that would mean that there are eight uh, complex zeros okay which means that eight would be the um, maximum number of non-real zeros okay now Let's pretend that the problem was a different problem, okay? And let's say the problem had degree 10. And let's say I was not given any real zeros again. Or let's say I was given two real zeros, right? So let's say they told me the zeros were five, three, and that's it, okay? Then, when I go to figure out the maximum number of real non-real zeros, I would have to take the degree and minus the two real zeros that they gave me, and I get eight. Well, an eight, eight has four pairs. It just doesn't have any extra guys. It just has four pairs. And so since it's pairs, a pair here and a pair there and a pair there and a pair there that's going to be a total of eight complex zeros so even if the polynomial when after i did the subtraction once i took the degree and i subtracted the number of real zeros known okay that's what r z k stands for the real zeros that were given to me okay 
Once you do that, you're gonna have two things happening. You're either gonna have an even number, like I did over here, when I subtracted 10 minus the two I was given, I got eight. And so either that's gonna be the answer because it's even, or if it's odd, you're gonna have to take away one to turn it into an even number. And once you take away one, then I get the eight complex zeros. So this is my little note to myself to remember how to do this. But um, really what you're having to do is remember that your complex zero comes in pairs, but then each one is a zero, right? Each of those conjugates is a zero. So that's why even though there's four pairs, that means it's a total of eight zeros, okay? So that's just my little shorthand thing. So you definitely do nine minus the number of real zeros that you were given. And then if it's odd, take away one to get the even number. If it's already even, that is the answer.